In this section, we will learn how to extract material takeoff reports from the coordinated MEB model for all categories. So let's get started. In order to add schedule, go to view, then schedules, hit on schedules quantities, or you can go to the project browser and right click on schedules and click on a new schedules quantity. This screen will appear to you. We are going to start with the duct category. So select the duct, click OK. Now we have all the parameters related to the duct category. We will add family and type parameter, then add width, height, and area, as we need them for the next calculated parameters. Click OK. One of the most important parameters for the duct is the gauge, but unfortunately we don't have a built-in parameter for the duct gauge inside Revit. So we are going to use the calculated parameters and equations to specify the duct gauge. Then from a SMAGNA duct gauge, we will find the duct quantities in kilogram. We will do it once and you can use it for any project later on. Add calculated parameters, name it the largest size, this parameter will specify the largest size for the specific duct, if it's the height or the width. Through this parameter, we can know the duct gauge. In this course, we will use SMAGNA duct gauge. You can find it in this lecture resources. The discipline for this parameter will be common and the type of the parameter will be length. The formula will be if open bracket width greater than height then the largest size will be width if not the largest size will be the height click ok you will see in the new column that we have extracted the largest size of the duct now we are going to use a smagna gauge download it from the resources and save it inside the course folder create a new folder and name it references. As you may know, different duct dimensions have different thicknesses. Larger dimensions have greater thicknesses to strengthen the duct structure. Each gauge has different thickness, that's why we have different kilogram per area for each dimension. They calculated the kilogram per area based on the galvanized sheet metal density and thickness. We can see that all ducts below 300 or equal to 300 mm has a duct gauge of 26 and you can see the other dimensions below it now go back to rivet go to fields add a new calculated parameter and name it duct gauge the discipline for this parameter will be common and the type of the parameter will be number and type this equation if open bracket or open bracket largest size less than 300 or equal 300 mm then the duct gauge will be 26 If open bracket or open bracket largest size less than 750 mm or largest size equal to 750 mm, then the duct gauge will be 24. Now, if open bracket or open bracket largest size less than 1500 mm or largest size equal to 1 1500 mm then the duct gauge will be 22 if open bracket or open bracket largest size is then 2150 mm or largest size equal to 2150 mm then the duct gauge will be 20 And the largest size less than 2450 mm or equal to 
450mm the duct gauge will be 18 And finally, largest size less than 5000 mm or equal to 5000 mm, duct gauge will be 16. If not, type 0, close all the brackets, click OK. Now you can compare the new column with this magnet to ensure that everything is OK. And to see the relationship between the duct gauge and the area. So we will add the new calculated parameter now and let's name it QTY, quantity. The discipline for this parameter will be common and the type of this parameter will be area. As we are going to multiply the area with a constant number, so the type must be area, otherwise Revit will not accept it. So the formula will be F open bracket duct gauge equal 16 then the weight will be area multiplied now go to the smacking duct gauge and see the 16 duct gauge this is the constant number which we are going to multiply by the area to get the weight now continue with the other duct gauges so if duct gauge equal to 18 then area multiplied by 10.25 if duct gauge equal 20 then area multiply by 8.08 .08. if duct gauge then area otherwise zero close the brackets click OK you will see that the quantity unit in meter square and that's wrong so we will remove it from the format unit go to units symbol change it to none and change the rounding to two decimal places now create a new calculated parameter, name it unit, the discipline will be common and the type will be text, between two quotations mark type kilogram, click OK and OK. Now the duct schedule in kilogram is ready. Now I will show you some techniques to control the data by the schedule properties. For example, you want all the quantities of the duct separated by duct system. Supply, exhaust and return. Go to Fields and add the system type. Move it up. Click OK. Now go to Sorting and Grouping and choose the system type and enable the header. And click OK. Now to find the total quantities for each system, go to Formatting, 
select the quantity and select calculate totals now go to sorting and formatting and enable the footer and choose total only now you can see the total quantities separated by system type by filter you can filter by gauge for example and from appearance you can control the line style and the text settings Go to sorting and grouping and select none 